The equation that we have now, it has a difference. Now we have parentheses in our equation. Now we know by order of the operations, parentheses go first. But what we must remember here is that we have this number, okay, that is next to my parentheses, and that means that it's multiplying. But it's multiplying both terms inside of the parentheses. That goes to tell me that I'm going to need to use my distributive property. And remember, distributive property consists in having this number multiply each one of the terms inside of the parentheses. So we're going to start step by step. First of all, we start with those, our signs. Negative and positive gives me a negative. I can forget about the sign now. Now I'm going to multiply the numbers. 3 times 2 gives me a 6. And my x is going to stay the same. Then my negative 3 will multiply the negative 4. Again, we're going to start with signs first. Negative and negative gives me a positive. 3 times 4 gives me a 12. And that will be equal to 24. The only thing that we did right now is just take care, take care of the parentheses by using the distributive property. Now I need to solve. So I know that I'm going to draw my line. And remember our goal always is to leave my variable, in this case x, by itself on one side of the equal sign. In order for me to do that, I'm going to have to work with this two-step equation. Now remember, the number next to the letter, you're going to save it for last. So we're going to start by eliminating this positive 12. We always use inverse operations so we can cancel any number in, a, in an equation. So the way that I'm going to cancel this positive 12 is with the negative 12. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. So what would happen now is that this two are going to cancel. And what I will have left on my left side will be negative 6x. That will be equal. 24 minus 12 gives me 12. Now I will take care of my negative 6. Now I'll try to cancel it. But I have to use inverse operations. So the operation right now by this negative 6 being next to the x is multiplication. The inverse operation will be division. That's why I will divide, but I will divide still by a negative 6. Remember, we changed the operation, but the number stays the same. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So these two numbers will cancel, the 6s, leaving the x alone, which is what we wanted since the beginning. And all that is left for us to do is this division over here. So first, we start with our signs. Positive and negative equals a negative. 12 divided by 6 gives me a 2. And this is my answer. 